Welcome back to the Danny Mac Road to Glory series on NCAA Football 14. If you are new here, I turned my eight-year-old son into one of the nation's top running back prospects in the country. He's currently the starting running back at Arkansas State University. Right now, the Red Wolves are sitting at 5-2 on the season, and Dan is having a great start so far. 139 carries for 1,055 yards and 10 touchdowns just on the ground. Now, as a receiver, he's caught 54 balls for 679 yards and three touchdowns. When I talked to Dan this week, he said he's pushing to go over 1,000 yards receiving, the only back to ever do that at Arkansas State. So award semifinalists have been named, and Danny's up for some big ones, man. He's fourth on the Walter Camp list and number one on the Dope Walker list, which honors the nation's top running back. Pretty awesome for the first-year starter. This week, the Red Wolves are taking on UL Monroe and have a pretty solid defense. Not so much against the pass, but their rush defense is in the top 50. It's time to hit this practice field. Welcome to Snowy Jonesboro. Danny starts by coming out of the backfield and making a grab over the middle, and he gets upfield to pick up 17. Then Dan gets set in motion, and it's a screenplay. He catches it, cuts it back inside, weaves back outside, and he's off to the races. He's finally tripped up after a 25-yard gain. Next play, Danny takes the counter left, jukes out a defender, and drops his shoulders to pick up 13. It would lead to an A-State touchdown. After a ULM field goal, Dan takes the counter left, bounces it outside, makes a juke, and picks up five. Later drive, Dan swings out into the flats, makes the catch, and makes an unnecessary juke and falls short of the first. After going for it on fourth, Dan goes out for another pass, but Trail tries to sneak out, and he fumbles. Thankfully, A-State recovers. Later drive, Dan takes the handoff, cuts it back up the gut, and powers his way to five. Then coach calls the same play. Dan cuts it back outside, makes a move, and picks up 10. On first down, Dan takes the stretch right, cuts it inside, and rumbles his way to six yards. It would lead to another TD. We jump to the third. Danny takes the stretch right, gets the edge, jumps, and picks up five. Dan gets the handoff again, but ULM breaks through the line, and it's a four-yard loss. Red Wolves facing the third down. Dan comes out of the backfield, finds some room on the sideline, makes the grab, and he picks up 25 big ones. Three plays later, Trail pitches the option to Danny. He gets upfield and bolts for the sideline. He gets the first. It would lead to another A-State touchdown. Red Wolves up 21-6. Danny takes the counter right, waits for his blocks, tries to bounce it outside, and picks up six. Then he takes the power right, gets the edge, and turns on the speed. He gets pulled down after a nice gain. On first down, Dan takes the handoff right, spins back inside, and only picks up five. 
It's fourth and one. Dan takes the pitch right, gets the edge, cuts it back inside, and picks up 11. The drive would stall, but the defense holds, and Danny is running a wheel route. He makes the grab on the sideline, jukes out three defenders, and turns on the speed. He spins back inside and picks up 35. Next play, same play. Dan runs the wheel route, catches it on the sideline, and tiptoes his way to 11. Later in the drive, Danny takes the handoff up the middle and gets stuffed after picking up four, but that would do it. A-State would go on to win 24-12, making the Red Wolves bowl eligible. Solid game for Danny Mack, 16 carries for 90 yards and eight catches for 123 yards, but no end zone visits, and he was not happy about it. Dan would take out his frustrations at practice this week. Next game for the Red Wolves, they're on the road to take on Texas State, and Danny comes out hot, taking the handoff, cutting it inside, then bouncing it back outside, and he is gone. 75 yards to the house, touchdown Danny Mack, A-State's up 7-0. Next Red Wolves possession, Dan comes out of the backfield, makes the catch, hits the defense with a cut, and picks up 17. Later drive, Danny catches the screen, follows right behind his blockers, weaves in and out of traffic, and gets into the end zone, stayed up 14 to zero. After a Texas State touchdown, Dan gets the handoff. He bounces it outside, makes a nasty cut, and hits the gas. He does it again, 75 yards to the crib. Three touchdowns for Danny Mack in the first quarter. And the defense would get a stop, and Dan takes the handoff right, tries to cut back inside and loses a yard. Next play, he takes the option up the middle, Tries to bounce it to the outside, but gets pulled down after a nine-yard gain. Later drive, Dan takes the delay. Can't find a lane and only picks up two. But the next play, the sophomore back shows off those hands. Makes a catch across the middle at his ankles and gains 13. Two plays later, Danny takes the handoff, bounces it outside, gets the corner, and trucks the corner to get into the end zone. That's TD number four. And Texas State can't slow down this run game. Dan bounces outside, makes a cut, and picks up another first. We jump ahead to the third. Danny bounces outside, hits the sideline, tries to cut inside, and muscles his way to 15. Then Dan takes the option right, cuts behind his blockers, gets tripped up again, and only picks up seven. It's third and long. Dan comes out of the backfield, gets behind the corner, makes the grab, and bulldozes his way to 24. Another third and long for the Red Wolves. Dan swings out of the backfield, gets upfield, but the linebacker makes a great play to get the interception. Hell of a catch by that guy. But Texas State couldn't capitalize. Dan comes out running, takes the handoff, bounces outside, but gets brought down after a two-yard gain. Next play, the sophomore takes the power right, gets the edge, and drops his shoulders to pick up seven. A few plays later, Dan bounces the handoff outright, 
has some daylight, but gets tripped up after a four-yard gain. It's third and short. Danny takes the stretch out right and muscles his way to seven yards. It's now third and seven. Danny comes out running the wheel route. He makes the grab, breaks two tackles, and is off to the races. The sophomore is finally brought down after a 32-yard gain, and A-State would kneel it out. The Red Wolves get another dub. 42-21 is the final. Monster game for the sensational sophomore. 20 carries for 225 yards and three scores. Plus, add on seven catches for 102 yards and a touchdown. If he isn't the best back in the country, I don't know who is. A-State moves to 7-2 and two and it's rivalry week as the Red Wolves battle with the Arkansas Razorbacks. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget to hit that bell and join the Nodi Squad. And while you're at it, hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Twitter, IG, and Facebook at Big C Gat Game. And we'll talk in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.